tactical rock and roll, we're gonna go over the Ruger 1022. This is the Ruger 1022, a 22 caliber rifle. This is a great all around rifle I must have in the collection. Uh, this is a very versatile weapon, um, for anywhere from sm uh, short to medium range. This is a great, it shoots the, this is a great weapon to have. It shoots the 22 caliber, so very, very cheap caliber. Recently, this has been a hard caliber to get. It just seems everybody's buying it up, so it's hard to get your hands on it right now. But overall, it's the cheapest caliber to shoot. Uh, so definitely get some if you can, but definitely get, if not one, multiple Ruger 1022s. So I bought this gun a little while ago, and I'm just gonna go over different stock options that I went through in the course of my life with this weapon. Uh, this is the factory stock with it. Obviously, wood stock, basic, simple. Uh, then there's uh, different different options that you can go. It just depends what you're thinking um, about using this weapon for. So uh, I always suggest that you figure what is the scenario where you would use this weapon and then modify those accessories around that. Just thinking with the most tactical advantage possible. Like how can you use this weapon? There's no sense in putting scopes and optics on weapons you're going to use for short range. And uh, if you're going to use a weapon for long range, you should customize the stock and the opt-in. You should customize the stock stock and the optics to best um to best help you with long range as opposed to if you're going to use this weapon for short range uh, or close quarter combat I do have options for that and I'll go over all of those as well which I wouldn't use optics and other things like that for there's no sense in uh, making your gun heavy and putting things that are bulky and in the way when you don't need them plus a gun like this it's easy to shoot very short and medium range with just the fixed sights so I'm just going to go over some of the different stock options. Um, it's really easy to change the different stocks with the 1022. I already have this one a little loose. You can hear the play in that. So it's basically just this screw right here on the bottom, right there. Basically, just that screw right there. You're just going to unscrew that. Once that screw is out, the one thing I suggest is just the safety right here is, as you can see, it would switch back and forth. You're going to kind of just set it in the middle, and that'll help it come out of the stock a little bit easier. Now, the other thing to be careful for is this pin right here, which holds the receiver into the barrel. Just make sure that stays in. Uh, it, it will fall out. Just make sure it's back in and even. You don't want to stick out like that. You just want it to be flush so it sits directly into the stock. And you're gonna and you're gonna want to remember that for all the different stock scenarios that I'm gonna show you. So basically, that's how you just take it out, and it's gonna work the same with all the different stocks. Um, this one right here is a Tapco stock that comes with a rail system on the bottom. I've added a foregrip that actually has a storage compartment in the bottom. You can put batteries in there if you use optics or bullets or basically anything you want right in there. It has an unscrewable storage compartment. I also put um, a bipod. I also put a bipod right here mounted on the front. This is actually a retractable bipod where you just unscrew this and they drop out uh, as well as a pistol grip and a telescopic and a telescopic stock so uh, this one actually came with two different options where a straight telescopic stock as well as an angled one and basically the way the way that the so basically the difference between the two is you would use the straight stock if you had optics mounted on the top but you would want the angled one if you were just using the fixed sights because if you try to line up 
using the straight one with just the fixed sights, you can't really aim well. Uh, that's why if you see on the factory stock, it's angled down a little bit. You just need that little bit of clearance to actually look directly onto the sights. Uh, and that's why they provide an, angle, an angled stock as an option for this. So, so this was actually one of my second thoughts with the weapon. I got this one and I fell in love. As you can see, I bought accessories for it. Uh, it actually has a another rail system that mounts right on top. I'll just go ahead and put in the stock real quick. As I said, always be mindful of this pin. Put that back in. And as you see, it fits right in. And then this, actually with a different rail system on top, fits right on here, and it totally changes the appearance of this gun. This gun looks completely different from the factory version, which is great. But it's just a 22. You can get, it comes with the, uh, factory 10 round magazines you can get extended magazines for these uh, they were really easy to get before a little bit difficult to get now but definitely get extended magazines depending on your jurisdiction um, look into those again the only way you would secure this is with the screw right here in the bottom and then that would be good to go uh, so we're just going to change into a different stock right now again uh, just remember to set the safety right in the middle and that'll help it jump out of the stock. Well, this is a different stock option that I went to. This one is made by Black Hawk, also a telescopic stock. This one is straight on, but it does have a little bit more clearance. So you can see straight on to the fixed sights pretty easily. Not only that, but this is has a suspended platform. So the barrel sits up off of the end of the stock, which is a little bit different, a little unique. I will show you that now. Again, making sure this retainer pin is in, and that is how this stock would be assembled right there. But you would secure this again by putting this screw right into this hole here. And as you can see, this barrel is suspended off of the end of the stock. This would be better adapted for a medium to longer range use. Uh, it, I would put optics on it. Again, you could put a rail system. There's a set of screws that are right here on the top where you could put a rail system and then put optics on there. Uh, and that's, if I was gonna use this for medium to long range, this would probably be the platform that I would use. Again, a telescopic stock. Made by Blackhawk, pistol grip, high quality, definitely a good way to go. That was one option. But then I found this last option, um, and this is actually kind of what we'll call a hand-me-down, I found in the closet. Um, that's old, very, very old, made by Butler Creek. And we'll just change this out real quick. Again, remembering, putting the safety right in the middle will help this jump right out of the stock. And then I found this by Butler Creek. And I love this for the 1022, because this provides both a short to medium range platform instantaneously. As you can see, this is set up for a short range or close quarter combat with a pistol grip. And this folding stock actually works as a foregrip, so it would be easy to hold it just like so. And you just push this down and the stock folds out just like that for more of a long range. And then we'll just put that into the stock right now. Again, remember the retainer pin. And you just see how easily that fits right into that stock. And then to retract it back, you just push down on this pin right there and fold. 
and comes right back. You do the same thing to fold it back out. As you see, you just push down on this pin and it folds right back out. It slides and it locks into both places. Again, like this, easily works for close quarter combat or short range. The only thing I would say is if you had if you had banana clips coming out of this and you were left-handed, it would be hard to change, but I'm right-handed, so this would even work still. I could easily change with my left hand, so that wouldn't be a problem. This might be a problem if you were left-handed, but other than that, I do love this platform. I think this is the one that I'm gonna stick with for this specific 1022 that I have. I will have other ones tricked differently, but uh, I like this one for this. Just the way I don't have to put any optics or anything. Basically just this one, which I found this stock. So that's a that's a good look. So please let me know what you think about this. Uh, which stock everyone else likes the best. But just different different options for the 1022. This is a very versatile weapon, as you can see. Uh, many different ways you can trick it out. I just hope I can provide for you all different options, as you can see, so you can make the right decision when you decide which stock that you want. Uh, I had to go through a different, I had to go through a range of four to find the one that I like. I actually like this one right here, made by Butler Creek. Uh, please let me know, tactical rock and roller at gmail.com. Please subscribe and leave your comments.